enough, no doubt, we will succeed and we will achieve the high goal of our joining training. Yeah. And it was obvious from day one when we got with them that the uh, Jordanian forces we were partnered with, they've absolutely trained. They were just drilling targets on the unknown distance, just like the Marines were. First Sergeant Pierce, first name Conrad, uh, currently serving as the first sergeant for Golf Company, 2nd Battalion, 24th Marines, out of uh, Madison, Wisconsin. So the overview for Intrepid Maven came out that, hey, we're going to go do some partner training with Jordanian forces, basically partner together in order to build that interoperability to standards of what we do and what they do as infantry uh, building off of each other's experiences. It was very obvious that they were proficient in what they were doing. Um, and they had great discipline and communication skills between their team leads and their squad leaders. And what we gained out of this was huge. We really gained a lot of experience. It was great working with them. I mean, some of the Jordanian forces, and they were sitting around the campfire. They, they built a little campfire out there, and they invited us in. And, you know, we were sitting down with them, just talking. We were talking about family and kids and you know, just life stuff, right? You know, periods of downtime, that's exactly what we do. We sit around and we talk about life back home and wives and kids and goals and dreams and things. Sure to be welcomed into that kind of circle that quickly was refreshing. Uh, and again, with the Marines, it was obvious that the integration piece was, was a non-issue. There was no barriers there at all. It's great. It's a great opportunity, great exercise. There's a lot that we've gained out, out of this. One, the experience just as a whole, right? But to be able to do it the way that we did it and then to actually get to come overseas, very different culture, very different climate, being able to do Marine Corps infantry basic skills and build from the 1,000 level up to the 4,000 and beyond with squad elements, kind of teaching that to the JAF of what we're doing and why we're doing it and us seeing it and then them telling us their why behind it and then kind of intermixing that now and now we have a common understanding of exactly why we're doing things the way that we're doing it in order to make sure that uh, there's that common ground and understanding Understanding, we know how each other operate um, so that we can do further missions with each other. Team two, good on you. Team four, William Beaumont Army Medical Center. Yeah. Team seven, Weed Army Community Hospital. Relevant and realistic competition designed to select the best leaders in the region. The week began with us in battle drills, as well as a stress shoot at the newest range on Fort Bridge. On the last... Second Lieutenant Daniel Park. Secreta Captain Sarah Sadwick Good morning, my name is Captain Eric Heitman. I am the officer in charge for the 2022 Regional Health Command Central Best Leader Competition. This is a competition that feeds into the overall Headquarters Department of Army Best Leader Competition, or this year they're going to call it the Best Squad Competition. So this is our one-star division level competition. 
We had multiple day competition that consisted of an administrative day, which was the ACFT, a combat water survival test, obstacle course, combatives, and a written and oral test. Day two consists 15 mile foot march, day and night land navigation. Our following day consisted Army Warrior Task and Battle Drill Lane and a stress shoot. The final day of the competition consisted of a mystery event and an oral board. I'm Specialist Krisafi, C-O-N-N-E-R-C-R-I-S-A-F-I. -E um, I'm with Evans Army Community Hospital at Fort Carson. This whole competition all together was super hard, but overall I had a lot of good team bonding with my team. The swim for me was probably the hardest, never really done anything like that before. Um, but you kind of just push through, try your best, you know, that's all you can ask for. Um, some people are really good at swimming, some people aren't very good at rucking, but we all just kind of pick each other up and keep going. It was pretty tough. I don't know if it would be the toughest week of my life, but uh, it's up there. We all kind of persevered together, embraced the suck, and it felt great to get it all over with. It felt good to win. All right, I'm Sergeant First Class uh, McCool. I'm from San Antonio. I won the senior NCO category for the best leader competition for RHC Central, and I work at Fort Sill uh, Medac. Uh, I mean, the week was pretty tough. We started. Um, Right off the bat, first day, we had multiple events. It was uh, physically demanding, uh, very little sleep, and then it just never stopped. Um, today is probably the first day we actually got the rest, and uh, there was a lot of good training. Um, I definitely learned a lot, um, and I definitely tested my body like I haven't tested it in a while. We trained about three to four weeks before the competition, so um, I didn't honestly didn't think I was going to win, um, but I knew that I was going to try my best, and I was hopefully I was going to do well. My name is First Lieutenant Kara Adams and I am the 2022 Regional Health Command Central Best Leader Officer winner. Uh, I currently serve as the outpatient chief of the nutrition clinic at Gilwalk. This week was a series of very rigorous events um, that was paired with sleep deprivation, stress, sand, wind, um, but we were, we were put to the test both mentally and physically running through our Army Warrior tasks. Um, rucking, doing the ACFT, really a variety of events. Being in the mountains at high altitude, um, I'm not used to that, right? So I've never really trained in a high altitude environment and day one and day two I felt that in my lungs, definitely. Um, and just being almost in a desert setting, right? With sand, heat, um, that was definitely a part of it. So it made it all more, a little bit more stressful and rigorous. We had three 65 Charlie dietitians out here uh, competing with the officer group which is a really good representation, I think, of the Medical Specialist Corps in general. Um, and dietitians are now part of this whole holistic health and fitness initiative that the Army's embracing, and I think fueling and treating your body right is a big part of, of winning on the battlefield. So.